peace this is your girl holistic sakura i am coming to share a piece of my story today if you don't know me uh i'm an herbalist and uh i am i have transitioned from new age occultism to christianity and serving jesus christ and the part of my story that i want to share today is about family i remember when i joined uh, the ifa house in the beginning, there was one day when I was getting fussed out and chest out. We were on the mat, which is supposed to be like the holy place. Um, and I was, this was in response to, I was receiving therapy from uh, the priest at the time. And he's not a holy priest, he's a dark priest. Um, and his wife, they were both, one was giving me counseling um, and one was giving me therapy. And they both told me two different things. And I was just asking a question like, hey, I don't understand. You told me one thing. Another person told me another. And um, they attacked me like, oh, why are you trying to split up my family? Why are you coming against me? Why are, y'all do- why are you doing this? I'm like, huh? I don't know what you're talking about. But at that time, I would submit to anything that they said. So I was like, oh, my God, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to. I didn't know I did that. I don't- I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. And um, they were like rebuking me. And, um, that day it was like, you have to, um, you can't be, keep, keep, keep going back and forth between us and your family. You have to choose us or your family. And if you don't choose us, we're not going to support you anymore. And I'm like, wow. Okay. And so I agreed in a moment and I said, yeah, I'll, I'll choose you. Um, part of when they say that we're not going to support you anymore, they were like, oh, you keep going back and forth to your family and your family is abusing you and your family is doing all this stuff to you. Um, and then we got to come back and clean it up. So you got to choose one or the other. And, but in my heart, I was like, I can't give up my family. I love my family too much. I don't care if they don't love me. I don't care if they mean to me. I don't care if they reject me. I don't care if they talk about me. I don't care what they do. I still love them. They're my family. That's just how I felt in my heart. And I didn't realize that, mind you, I was under my control before that. I didn't realize that was like a sign of a cult. And cults make you give up your family. And so much, so many times they've come in between me and my family. Um, They would, my friends and my family push them away from me. They're all bad people. They do all these wrong things. They have all this bad behavior. Yeah, we all do. We all sinners. We all have um, things that we do that may not be in the best interest of ourselves or of someone else or of God or in God. Um, but that doesn't mean that you throw your family away. Um, and I say this because I was hurting. I didn't have family. I didn't have friends. I only had this demon house, (laughs) what I call a demon house. Um, but it is a demon house. It was a house with all kinds of spirits running in and out through up and down, scratching on the walls. So yeah, it's a demon house. Um, or what they would call an Ifa house. Um, so yeah, I only had them to depend on because they, they strategically isolated me. And anybody that tries to isolate you and take you away from your friends and family, run. Anybody that tells you to leave your family, run. Because that's the family line. That's a bloodline you were born in. All families have challenges. Some families have are functioning better than others. There's functional families and there's dysfunctional families. But you got your family and sometimes you may have to step away from your family so that you can grow and heal. But that don't mean that you disown or denounce your family. You have a family for a reason. And then on this side, you have of uh, uh, on this side, because I, I go side to side, the dark side to the light side, because I lived very much in the darkness for a long time. Um so that I'm on this side, now that I'm with Christ, I'm part of Christ's family. I'm part of the body of Christ. So like anywhere I go, I find a Christian like, hey, we family. And that means something to me. Because when I go to a new church, I don't want to feel like you're, yeah, my nail broke. My son broke it last night. I don't want to feel like I'm an outsider or like I got to do all these things to prove myself just to be family. Nah, I don't got to prove nothing to be family. We family. Just because God say so. And that's it. So go find your family, create your family, 
but you don't got to create it because God did it for you. <laughs> so God bless you. Stay with your family. Stay with your loved ones. Stay with your babies. Don't let nobody come between you and your babies. Don't let nobody convince you that you shouldn't be loving your baby, that you shouldn't be there with your baby. Your baby's too much and your baby's too loud and your baby is taking up too much time and your children is doing this and your children is against you. No, do not let nobody do that because that house I was part of, there was a lady living there, her two kids, she didn't have her two kids, but she was there, she's there supporting a man. Her entire work and living is to support that family and that house that does not include her two children. And she's against her two children. I'm like, I don't understand that. I never understood it. I kind of looked at her funny. I'm like, how are you going to leave your kids? How you gonna, how you okay with your kids being your enemy? How you okay with that? They kids. How, they don't know better. You supposed to teach them. You supposed to let them know that you they mama. But anyway, that's all I got to say. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Peace.